got shaken by my own voice. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, I have to get in here and see what the Greybeards know. Hmm, strange. They usually congregate out here. above, voice within. I need to learn the shout used to defeat Alduin. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? <laughs> Are you suddenly my parent? I don't think so. It was recorded on Alduin's wall. The blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bound. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? Well, I did learn a few shouts from you. The Blades are helping me. I'm not their puppet. No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. But yes, you have. Warning. The Blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. So, can you teach me this shout? No. I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. What? It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. I thought you knew all the words of power. But not Dragonrend. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. If the shout is lost, how can I defeat Alduin? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. Who is Parthenax? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. And why haven't I met Parthenax yet? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. And why is it that I feel like I'm playing around in riddles that you're not answering my questions at all, and we're not getting anywhere? How do I get to the top of the mountain to see him? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. <laughs> Another shout.
path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. Looks like a pretty fierce storm up there. All right, show me. Look. Ah. What? Cool. I will grant you my understanding of clear sky. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. All right. Clear skies will blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. All right. I suppose thanks are in order. Good day. shaken by my own voice. I suppose I need to walk more slowly. So that my shout has time to recharge. Look! Hmm. The poor goat tried to go through the storm and couldn't make it. Come on back here. what we have here. Ah, oh, another ice wraith. Got it. It's 
hard to time my swing as they're so erratic in their movements. Look! too close. Alright, here we are. Uh-oh. I'm under attack. Oh, wait, my spell. It didn't activate. What's going on? Drem Yolok, greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? I think you already know who I am. Yes, Vaza. You speak true, Dovakin. Forgive me. It has been long since I held Tinbok with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation to prolong our speech. <laughs> All right, so... Let's just get to the point. I need to learn the Dragon Ren shout. Can you teach me? Hmm. Drem, patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. That would be you. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovahkiin. What? I have spoken. The Rotmulag waits. All right. I don't think I can shout quite that powerfully. The word calls you. Go to it. Yes. A gift, Dovahkiin. Yol. Understand fire as the Dove do. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dovasos, dragon blood. 
What would you ask of me? You already know I'm here to learn the Dragon Ren shout. Can you teach me? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. The Greybeards didn't want me to come at all. Hmm, yes. They are very protective of me, Bahlan Fadon. But I do not know the Thum you see. What? Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. All right, then how can I learn it? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? Hmm. For ultimate power, Parthenax. I want to rule the world for myself. Just kidding. I like this world. I don't want it to end. Prusa has good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? I didn't come here to debate philosophy with you. <laughs> you have much to learn of the Dove, then. Hmm. Hmm. There is nothing else but philosophy to Adova. It is no accident that we do battle with our Thum, our voices. There is no distinction between debate and combat to a dragon. Tinvak Loskra. For us, it is one and the same. Hmm. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? You're answering a question with a question. You really like to play games, don't you? You said you were going to answer. Continue. Drim, patience. I am answering in my way. Hmm. This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim. Sokravak Struma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Using the Dragon Ren shout, right? Mm, yes and no. Viknuznikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. That makes the sense. The lords of those days used the Dragon Ren shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Oak Mulag Unslad. 
It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Are you saying that the ancient Nord sent Alduin forward in time? Mm, not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tigbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day. He would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. And how does any of this help me? Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. That's a brilliant plan. Only someone like yourself could think of it. Do you know where I can find an Elder Scroll? Krosis, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Hmm. Esbern or Arngir might have some idea. Trust your instincts, Dovakin. Your blood will show you the way. And what do I do with the Elder Scroll when I find it? Return it here, to the Tid Ahran. Then, Kele Vomindok. Nothing is certain with such things. But I believe the scroll's bond with the Tid Ahran will allow you a... a seeing, a vision of the moment of its creation. Then you will feel no dragon rend in the power of its first expression. You will see them, Wuth Fadon, my friends, Haken, Gormleth, Feldir. Haken, Gormleth, Feldir, who are they? The first mortals that I taught the Thum, the first tongues, the leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin. Sahrot Hun, the Nords have had many heroes since, but none greater. What does this Dragon Wren shout actually do? I cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Kogan. It was the first Thum created solely by mortals. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. A truly von Mindoran. Incomprehensible idea to the immortal Dove. I see. All right. I suppose I'll ask since I'm here. 
You are the master of the gray beards. Do others come here to train? Hmm. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. You meditate on the words? How? Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovakin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and Yol. Fus. It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora, you will push the world harder than it pushes back. Hmm, all right. I wish to meditate on a word of power, and I'm running out of time. I could transform, but I'm sure you already know my secrets. Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? Fus? Faim? Or Yol. Fine. Fade in your tongue. Mortals have greater affinity for this word than the Dove. Everything mortal fades away in time, but the spirit remains. Ponder the meaning of spirit. Unslad Zi. Where mortal flesh may wither and die, the spirit endures. That is fine. Let that meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. You will find that your spirit will give you more strength. All right. Then there's one more word. Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? Yol. In your tongue, the word simply means fire. It is change given form, power at its most primal. That is the true meaning of Yol. Solyek, power, you have it, as do all Dove. But power is inert without action and choice. Think of this as the fire builds in your sum, in your breath. Sum Ark Mora. What will you burn? What will you spare? <laughs> All right, I think that's it. I really don't care about how he was cast through time. Drem Yolok, greetings. Are you saying I have to ask the question? How could an Elder Scroll cast Alduin through time? Vormendark, I do not know. Perhaps in the very doing, they erased the knowing of it from time itself. The Dove are children of Akatosh. Thus, we are specially attuned to the flow of time. Perhaps also uniquely vulnerable. 
I warned them against such a rash action. Even I could not foresee its consequences. Nust Lihon, they would not listen. You mean, you were there? Yes. There were a few of us that rebelled against Alduin Thur, his tyranny. We aided the humans in his overthrow. But they did not trust us, ni of. Their inner counsels were kept hidden from us. I was far from here on the day of Alduin's downfall, but all dove felt the sundering of time itself. All right, now may I go. Look through. Thank you. Hmm. All right, Alduin. I'll take Parthenax, I'll take my leave. <laughs> wow, this is terrible. I'm getting the two of them confused.